So today we're going to be working on upper body, okay? So let's get right into today's exercises. Exercise number one, I got dumbbell curls. Just taking my dumbbells and curling them up. Very simple, right? Next, I got my kickbacks. What I'm going to do here, go to a chair or a bench, whatever you couch, whatever you have. One hand on here, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. Do not lock out your knees, knees slightly bent. Taking that dumbbell, elbow up and straighten it out. Do not slouch. Do not slouch. Keep my back straight and my knees bent. Okay? I'll get my right and left arm with that. Very simple. And next, bring my, I got lateral raises. Bring my arms to my side, dumbbells in hand. Raise them up, raise them down. Raise them up. Notice my palms are facing towards the floor and raise them down. That's my pattern there, okay? As soon as I finish those, I'll go with my front raises. Very simple. Make like I'm holding a steering wheel. Stand up tall, raise them up, raise them down. Raise them up, raise them down. Notice I'm stopping just at eye level. No need to go up higher than that. Just right here, eye level, and back down. That's my first series of exercises. If you'll notice your rep count here, I have 10 reps on each exercise. So I'll one exercise, then the next, then the next, then the next, and back to the top. One exercise, then the next, then the next, and you'll do that a total of three rounds. Next exercise here, I have rows. An SA just means single arm. Going back to my chair, first things first, feet shoulder width apart, take my hand, rest it here, knees slightly bent. My elbow hangs, I'm pulling straight up and straight down. Straight up and straight down. Pretend you're using your elbow to scrape your side. So I don't want to pull out here, my elbow's going away from me. Keep my elbow in, up and down. Again, you'll get your right and left arm with that. Second exercise, I have my shoulder presses. Have a seat, use back support if needed, so you can scoot all the way back in your chair. Sitting right here, I'm up and I'm down. I'm up and I'm down. I'm up and I'm down. Very simple, right? And next, I have my calf raises. Just working on those knee strength again, right? Up and I'm down, up and I'm down. You can hold onto the wall if need be. Use your weights though, if you have them, one in each hand, up and down. How heavy do you go? As heavy as you can tolerate on your knees specifically and obviously keeping your balance too as well. So if it's too light, bump it up. Go the heaviest that you can on that exercise. So let's review those second series again. So I have three exercises in my second series. I have my rows. Here, my seated shoulder press. Here, and I have my calf raises. That's it with dumbbells in hand. Let's move to the last series. In the last series, I have wall planks. Taking my forearms, bend my elbows at 90 degrees. Just go straight to a wall right here. Stand up on my tippy toes. Squeeze my butt. Squeeze my core and count to 45. Now, again, I put a range in here. My knees and back are okay. Go all the way to 45. If not, stop it at 30. We got to get that core stronger. As soon as I finish those, I have reverse flies. What am I doing here? Going back to my chair again. One hand in the chair, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. Take that dumbbell out, bring it down. Take it out, bring it down. Take it out, bring it down. I'll do that on my right and left arm, okay? And lastly, I have foot circles. Working on my glutes here a little bit, and again, to strengthen those knees, just hold on to a wall, lean over just a little bit, Take that one foot back and I want you to draw a circle behind you. Draw a circle behind you. You'll do 15 on the right leg and 15 on your left leg. So let's review that last series one more time. I have wall planks on the wall. Make sure you stay on your tippy toes. Reverse flies in my chair. Right side, left side. And then I have foot circles. Hold on to a wall. Lean forward. Going in a circle. Those are all my exercises for today. Let's get to it. Let me know how it was for you, okay?